Hey folks, nothingwire.com and I have the brand new Nikon Coolpix P7700 here. It sits right at the top of the P that is performance series of the Coolpix cameras. In this part of the review, I'm going to show you what's in the box. So let's get started. Uh, it's a fairly huge box which is understandable for a premium category of compact digital camera that's the one you have some free goodies uh, with the retail pack all uh, this is a review unit so we do not have the free goodies but when you go to buy this if you so decides then rest assured you'll get this free goodies so on this side you have some quick specs maximum 12.2 megapixel of still resolution you have a brilliant minimum aperture of f by 2 and it goes up till f by 4 making it a great lens under low light you have a 7.1x zoom uh, vibration reduction is supported then you have a 3 lens LCD on the back you have uh, what should be inside the box then you have some pricing information here uh, this is MRP the price might vary from depending upon from where you're buying it yeah so let's go and open the box now there you go in there so right up there you have the user manual that will help you get going with the device it should have all the information related to hardware as well as the software interface and also the safety informations you have the service network details the warranty that's the warranty card and then you have the reference CD no image editing software though what else you have you have okay that's an audio video cable then you have the data cable which should double as a charging cable as well you have the camera strap then the camera body we'll come back to it in a while so you have the wall charging adapter flat point so okay so you have uh, the round point adapter that goes in front of this one to be used in Indian conditions so this one goes right here there you go so the battery goes here while charging that's the battery there you go ENEL 14,030 mAh battery what else? yeah so that's about it now this is the camera boy isn't this guy built like a tank it's heavy as well you can see it's it looks very rugged but we'll take you deeper into the hardware of this device in the next part of our review thank you yeah so i'm going to take you through the hardware of the nikon coolpix p7700 right now the first impression this guy is a beast it almost seems like it's built like a tank mostly metal body 
you can see very typical Nikon DSLR like black textured metal there you have very little plastic even the buttons and dials are of metal uh, there is a hole here which has a rubber coating so that you don't uh, your fingers don't slip yeah so on the front side you have the lens that's the lens cap so there is no built-in lens cover there it's a fixed lens so Nikon could have provided a lens cover uh, that's the Nikon lens that I told you you have the autofocus assist lamp there two mics the infrared receiver and then a function button that's the hold there you have the secondary command dial the sub command dial what you call so on this side you have the external mic out there you go then you have the GPS out on this side you have the mini HDMI and the AV out covered by a flap so on top uh, you have the pop out flash which is switched on from uh, by this switch there you go you have the quick menu dial there so switching to any particular menu will activate that particular setting you can also press this to go to the particular setting then the accessory shoe you can attach your uh, external speed light or an external stereo microphone there you have your shooting mode dial as you can see it's now in fully auto mode you have program mode shutter priority aperture priority full manual video video custom settings you have some scenes some effects and then some uh, up to three user settings that you can set um, maybe your most used settings you can save as u1 u2 or u3 you have the shutter release button on the zoom lever another function key power button and then you have the exposure compensation dial on the back you have the brilliant glossy as you can see it attracts a lot of fingerprint 3 inch LCD it has 921,000 dots making it one of the uh, brightest LCD that uh, we've seen so this is fully rotatable articulated so it goes like this this goes like this you can also close it while you're not using the camera to protect the lens the hinge is broad enough so that you don't have to worry about keep rotating the uh, LCD so here you have the display button that's the main command dial you have the exposure lock button the playback button then you have uh, the multi selection um, what you call dial with the uh, final selection ok button so pressing it up uh, would let you set the flash this way is a self timer this way would be the autofocus modes and uh, here would be macro and some other scene modes you have the menu and the delete button there as usual so below you have the tripod mount and then the battery and the SD card compartment it supports full SD card SD, SDAC or SDXC that's the battery we've shown you during our unboxing so it's uh, the ENEL 14 1030 mAh battery okay uh, 
you have this so this um, kind of hold a port to which the strap is connected yeah uh, what else yeah so that's mostly about it this guy is a little heavy because it's totally almost totally made out of metal uh, but then this additional weight actually gives the system that all the more stability while operating with one hand um, the rubbery grip adds to the stability and um, overall this guy is an absolute pleasure to operate with one hand and almost under um, almost from any position thanks to the rotating LCD screen so I'm gonna show you the software interface in a while thank you hi so I'm gonna show you the user interface of the P7700 now so let's switch this guy on and we get to the LCD screen now a few words about the screen it's a 3 inch uh, diagonally TFT LCD screen it's one of the brightest and most crisp screen we've seen um, so it has 921,000 dots and the viewing angles are tremendous you can almost see what's there from about 20 degrees from the horizontal, uh, horizontal plane that's really incredible no reflection there see this is brilliant for a camera display yeah so coming back to the UI so uh, here you have a number of shooting modes we're gonna show you uh, one by one here you have the quick menu dial and the exposure compensation dial here so you can see right now the camera is in full auto mode so you will have very little customization options uh, we're gonna see so that's the display all the current settings you can toggle the display with this particular button there you go so in fully automatic mode you can lock the exposure you can play back a file you can change the flash provided it's out so you can change it to auto auto red eye reduction and some other slow sync etc you can also select the self timer mode that's off you have the self timer you have the remote timer you have the spire uh, the smile timer below you have auto focus close range not exactly macro then the true macro and then infinity which uh, is basically the landscape mode in full auto mode you do not have the autofocus area selection enabled that's the menu button and with this you can delete a photo so let's see what the menu shows us so it only shows us the system settings uh, flash control digital former version you can set the welcome screen to none cool peaks or you can select one of the images to show when the camera switches on so time zone and day then you have a monitor you can set the brightness here you can select to show photo infos but that's quite intrusive so i suggest you do not switch this on and some other let's see vibration reduction is on so remember when you're shooting on a tripod switch off this vibration reduction AF assist is auto you have some other settings here 
okay so you have a few settings in the playback mode as well so you can quickly retouch the photo so there you see the photo has been retouched oh, so that's the original one and that's the retouched one okay so there you have some other uh, settings there you can soften the skin or you can have a number of filter options so when you select fish eye it will show you kind of fish eye so bulging in the middle I'll go back you can have miniature effect or vignette or whatever that you wanna add to add that bit of fun to your photo you can protect your photos copy your photo to and from the camera memory to SD card yeah so you have some uh, system settings there you can set your uh, function buttons it supports iFi uh, but then you would need an optional iFi card to uh, transfer files from this camera to your system yep so that's about the auto mode now let's go uh, to the program mode and now you will have a few new icons that's the shutter speed that's the aperture so here when we go to menu we have new settings so you have a noise noise reduction filter as normal so uh, in ideal conditions or under enough light you might want to keep it in uh, normal mode but then if you're shooting at low light and you're using a high ISO setting then probably you can set this to high flash exposure compensation autofocus mode you have single or full time or continuous autofocus AF area mode which can also be reached now by pressing the right button there so that's center center wide subject tracking target finding manual auto and face priority I'll go back to default and then yeah so continuous so now it's single photo you have continuous high medium and low BSS multi shot continuous very high speed uh, you can see at an incredible 120 frame per second but it's only possible if you're taking VGA photos 60 frame per second is possible if you're taking um, the photos in 1 MP what else metering so you have the usual metric center weighted or spot metering options custom picture control let's go below and see so this is something new built in ND filter you can switch this on or off ND is neutral density distortion control delighting zoom memory again a new preset um, it brings in an effect as if uh, your lens is pointed directly uh, into the subject So the system settings are pretty much the same with the full auto mode let's go and check out if you have new menu options in playback mode no so these are pretty much the same um, options these options are also available in full auto mode Yeah. So 
now uh, by the way um, I'll take a minute to explain this so this is uh, the quick menu dial what you call so the moment it's in WB um, white balance settings now the moment I bring it to ISO you will see the ISO settings and you can change it from here so you can see there are a lot of options auto you have ISO that range from 80 till 200 this guy supports uh, for ISO from 80 till 3200 but then 3200 is only available in certain settings we anyway uh, we anyway do not recommend you to shoot beyond 800 because that'll be that will bring a lot of noise to your photograph so these are the settings i'll keep it in the 80 to 800 mode you have the minimum shutter speed i'll keep it to 1 second okay So you have image quality mode so if you like uh, uh, to edit your image a lot then uh, you can use NRW which is Nikon's format for raw photos you can also use uh, raw plus the best quality JPEG but that will use up a lot of space I'll keep it in raw only in which mode I mostly shoot even with a DSLR then you have the image color distribution options see vivid monochrome neutral etc the standard is recommended in most conditions you can fine-tune those then you have some other stuffs here you have a bracketing option okay then the last is the white balance setting so I mostly take my photos in uh, daylight white balance mode you can fine tune it yep so once you press ok it will go back to your uh, normal display mode but then to bring uh, it into effect quickly you can just press this particular button and you'll get to that uh, you'll get to the settings which is selected here okay and that's the exposure compensation button there you can see the dialer so let's go to shutter priority mode and uh, you can now up uh, oh, sorry you can now customize the shutter priority uh, the shutter speed with the main command dial see this changing and the camera would automatically change uh, the aperture you can see the aperture is now changed automatically okay so you have the aperture priority mode in which you change the aperture and the camera will change the shutter speed accordingly <coughs> you change the aperture with the sub command dial so once you have this you can set the aperture and you can see the smaller your aperture gets the slower your shutter speed gets Yep. so if you'd rather use the manual mode then uh, at this point 
you can uh, use the main command dial to alter the shutter speed and the sub command dial to alter the aperture so that's the uh, exposure preview scale there so as you can see now it's very underexposed the whitish show so your um, aim is to bring the white scale to the middle so let's see how we do it so we reduce the shutter speed we open up the aperture and you can see this the underexposure is reducing and once yeah so now if you take a picture it will be properly exposed so you have the movie record button there you go so it records at uh, full HD 1920 by 1080 pixels at, uh, at 30 frame per second you have the menu uh, options here you can reduce the wind noise that's the autofocus mode that's the continuous autofocus mode so you can here you have some video related settings The next button is video custom settings where you can um, adjust some settings like in case of the photos there you go you can change the shooting mode you have some special effects to apply as well options alright so you have the scene mode in which you can select a number of scenes so uh, the first one is auto selector so the camera will auto, uh, will auto select the scene depending on what you're shooting you have portrait landscape sports night portrait beach sunset all jazzy stuff there you also have 3d photography by the way then in settings you have basically the same settings go to effects and there you have a creative monochrome effect you can reduce the grain there you go so they have the special effects you can have the painting and you can uh, see a preview of the effects that's there not very visible now you can see that was monochrome then painting effect then you have the zoom exposure that I talked about before cross process soft nostalgic sepia high low key and selective color this is something I really find cool you can also set the auto focus mode so once you do that then here is a normal picture but this one and uh, 
you will only see wherever the pink color is getting highlighted and rest all going to monochrome there you see the red color getting highlighted there the yellow color getting highlighted there this is one pretty cool effect that I like settings are again the same and then you can set your user settings so you can save the user settings you can uh, set your frequently used settings here and then save them as up to three customized settings here yeah so i guess that's pretty much about it uh, about the software interface a lot of manual controls so um, there is a bit of a learning curve but then once you get used to it um, the manual controls and the filters and effects and the combinations of settings give you a very good control over how you want to shoot and record a picture or a video. Thank you.